Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to make a real quick video about something I found interesting. Uh, an article from NBC Sports from uh, Jennifer Lee Chan talking about uh, the emergence of one and only uh, Talanoa Hufunga. Uh, she talks about how the second year safety, um, who's only logged three NFL starts this rookie season, uh, but has already taken first team snaps alongside veteran Jimmy Ward, during uh, the most recent organized team activities. Um, D'Amico Ryans has noticed heightened confidence in Hufunga, who spent the offseason working with longtime mentor, who I did not know, Hall of Fame safety Troy Palomalo. <clears throat> he says, I see the way he works. I see the way he's in the building, Ryan says after the second week of OTAs. He's always asking questions in meetings. He's always looking to get the answer and get it right and get it done exactly how he, how he wants to get it done. It's just his consistent approach daily. That's what sets him apart. That's what will allow him to be a really great player for us. Um, Hufunga, who appeared in 15 games in 2021, is what safeties coach Daniel Bullis calls an open competition for the spot next to Ward. He says the USC product is improving his communication and his biggest challenge, um, he has already started answering the bell. The young safety has been seeing has been very vocal during team drills. When practice has been open to the media, both Ryans and Bullocks have taken notice. It says this off season has been eye opening for me. This is coming from Hufanga himself. Or actually, no, Ryans. He says the way he's communicating out there, much better, louder, better communicator. Ryan says, you do see him move faster because I think things are starting to slow down for him now, which, you know, if you watched him last year, you saw him kind of being a little slow, um, making some coverage busts. But yeah, I feel like when the game slows down for a guy like that, um, he could play faster. So it'll be interesting to see um, with this uh, safety tryout, which is pretty much going on this off season, if he uh, really makes the strides, that a lot of people have been talking about, just not Jennifer Lee Chan. Um, and maybe he makes uh, the starting lineup next to uh, Jaquaski Tart would be awesome. Um, uh, Bullocks, who's the secondary coach, says the biggest, or actually he's a safety, I don't know if he's a safeties coach or a secondary coach. Um, he says that the biggest difference that he sees in, in him is his confidence is through the roof. He's out there communicating better than he ever has. I've seen him take a big step coming back this offseason and his movement skills, he's quicker, a step faster, twitchier. So who knows? Maybe the sophomore, uh, he won't have a sophomore slump and he'll make it in the starting lineup and the Niners won't miss a beat. And who knows? Maybe they'll be better. Um, one of the biggest issues I had with Jaquaski Tart wasn't necessarily his play, but his inability to stay healthy. So yeah, I just thought I'd share that information for Jennifer Lee Chan. Um, you can see the complete article on NBCSports.com. And uh, you can look it up. Uh, she usually does a podcast with Matt Mayoka, who's another great 49er uh, reporter slash media guy that just, he's been covering the team a long time and he has a lot of inside knowledge. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, if anything else changes, I'll let you guys know. Everybody stay safe and healthy. Take care of yourselves, and as usual, I'll see you guys on the flip side. Take care, everyone.